It is our sincere privilege to present the esteemed Rosh Yeshiva, Marenu Harav Shlomo Freifeld Shlita. Good evening. I want to thank my dear friend, Harav Yankif Bender, the principal, the banal of that wonderful, exceptional institution, Yeshiva Darke Torah, for giving me the opportunity to share a few moments with you. Parenthetically, it's of vital importance to understand who Rav Bender is. He's one of the young heroes of our generation, a man who has committed his life, his toil, his talents, his energies to being Mechanach, Jewish children, in the ways of Torah. May the Rabbi Shalom give him the wherewithal and the inspiration to continue his wonderful work. We are living in a time where our Torah institutions, where our Yeshiva Ketanis, are emergency institutions. Whoever assumes the responsibility of raising children in the ways of Torah. Today, in the inundation, in the flood of the negativity that surrounds us in Western society, there isn't an aspect of Torah life that is not being attacked in the culture of our society. Today, the Yeshivik Tanis fortresses of sanity, fortresses of tahara, of purity, fortresses of chinuch, of Sinai. Today when we get together at a banquet, we have to think seriously and deeply how to strengthen, how to encourage all the people that are involved in this beautiful undertaking. Tonight's banquet are honoring a number of people. I don't know all of the honorees, but I'm very close to a number of them. I want to wish Mrs. Rivka Gutkin, the wife of our dear Chavar of Shlomo Gutkin. I want to wish her Mazel Tov. She's a special woman. She's doing a special job. She's breathing in life, sense of being, a sense of self-esteem into children that otherwise would have been denied this opportunity. She does it with feeling, with talent, with genius. She's one of the most successful young men, women in this area. May the Banishleim grant her and her husband, Rabbi Shleimer, the continued inspiration to work for Klaus Another one of the honorees, a friend of mine, Reb Mark and Sharon Solomon. Mark is an unusual person. Mark is a young man whose heart and soul and mind are immersed in Torah. He denies himself all of the possible successes in this world and built himself a life where he can afford himself the opportunity to learn Torah every day. May the Rosh and grant both of them nachas from their children and success in all their endeavors. You, the parents of Yeshiva Daka Torah, are faced now with a Herculean task. You have to build a home for your children. You're not going to do this without Nasir Snefesh, without coming to the recognition and the decision that we're going to do everything in our power to see that we build a beautiful building to see that it's most aesthetically satisfying for our children. And we're all going to rally around Harav Bender and help him to realize this dream. Remember, today, without Mesir Snefesh, you cannot be successful in Torah Chinuch. May the Evangelium grant all of you, Me'ira Sinai, light in your eyes to understand that this is one of the most wonderful things that you can do for your children. There's nothing in this world that you can give your children more 
than a Torah Chinuch. May the Rabbanu Shalom grant you Seichel, Torah intelligence, Torah inspiration, and a sense of sacrifice to build together. And we all together, Mirz Hashem, be Mekabal Mashiach Tzedkenu. Thank you for giving me this opportunity.